This is Chris from Atlantic Outport, and this is your digital delivery of your new Rabalo R222 Explorer. If the boat is kept on the trailer, before you launch, the first thing you want to ensure is that your drain plug is in the boat, okay? Drain plug threads in down here at that hole. The next thing you want to do is give your, your battery power. Turn on your power supply. You want to make sure that this trailer lock is up. So once your battery supply is on, you can tilt this all the way up and then you simply flip this latch up. Once the latch is up, it'll allow the motor to be trimmed all the way down. All right. Once you're inside your new Rabalo R222 Explorer, you wanna make sure your battery switch is on. Underneath the rear seat is your battery switch. If you turn it to the 12 o'clock position, that's gonna be off. I like to turn it to the six o'clock position so it's using both batteries at the same time. Then you wanna go up to the console here. You're gonna install your safety lanyard. That's very important. The boat will not start without the safety lanyard, which is attached to the key. The motor will crank and you'll get a warning code, but you won't be able to start the motor. So once that's snapped in, you turn the key, your motor should start right up. Um, then up at the dash, you have a, a push button for your aft bilge. Now these bilge pumps are hardwired to the battery. So even if the battery switch is off, they will still have power going to them. So if they need to pump out water, if it hits the float switch and raises up enough, it will pump water. But if you throw like a bucket of soapy water to clean your bilge out, you could easily push this button and manually pump any residual water that's in there out. When the bilge pump is on, You'll have a light, it's illuminated on the dash to notify you that the bilge pump is on. You just won't, don't wanna forget and leave that bilge pump switch on. You wanna make sure you shut that off. Um, you have your live well pump switch here that'll pump salt water into your live well. You have a raw water switch. That's gonna pump salt water out of your salt water wash down, which I'll show you next. It's two separate switches. If the boat has the fresh water uh, holding tank option, you would hit the fresh water pump. Now these are generic panels, so you may or may not have some of these options, but you'll still have a switch. Then you have trim tab switch. Again, you may or may not have trim tabs. And then hard top accessory switch. So that's gonna, if you have the hard top, that'll put your LED lights on. Over on the port side, you have a horn, navigation lights, anchor light, Courtesy light will illuminate the decking. Um, if you're fishing or cleaning the boat at night, it'll just illuminate the, the deck enough for you to see. Uh, live well light. And then if the boat is equipped with underwater lights, you have an underwater light switch also. The tilt helm works by pushing in this button and the helm will articulate up and down. These are your Yamaha gauges for your motors. It's gonna give you engine position, RPM, fuel burn, fuel capacity, etc. Um, it's pretty basic. If you do have more questions about these, the owner's manual that's given in the owner's bag will be more specific. Um, your stereo with Bluetooth. Um, if you're having trouble pairing this with your phone, best solution I found is to just go on YouTube with that model number that's printed right on the front and it'll walk you through how to pair it. You probably will be able to pair it easily yourself. Your GPS will be mounted here. You'll have a power supply button on that. You have stainless cup holders. You have a USB charger, 12 volt charger. Your flip up bolsters. These you just have to give them a little muscle and they'll flip right up. Um, spot for your toes. And then on the, the shifter, typically neutral will be perfectly in line with the Yamaha symbol. As you push it past that, that'll engage it in forward. And if you push it behind it, it'll push it in reverse. So you just wanna remember, directly in line with the Yamaha symbol is typically neutral. Moving forward, the Explorer boats have uh, these backrests. To remove the backrests, you just pull this pin and this whole piece will slide out. It works the same way to reinstall them. You have wraparound seating, storage under each, access to your head compartment, this one has the porta potty with the pump out option and a step with a light. You can lock your items in there. You have storage below deck here. 
you have a dedicated anchor locker. Inside this anchor locker, with the, the anchor that we provide, it'll fit perfectly in these grooves. So once it's in the groove, you close the tab to secure the anchor, and it works in reverse. You just slide the tab open, the anchor will come out, you deploy the anchor. Once it's fetched up on the bottom, you could cleat it off to one of your cleats. You do have a Sirius XM antenna, which is standard on this boat. And your fuel fill is gonna be on your port side here. You simply just push a button and it will flip up for you. In the back of your R222 Explorer, you have a connection for your battery charger. You, you can simply connect that to a three-prong extension cord um, and it would maintain your battery. It's not necessary. If you run your battery down, it does give you the option to charge it back up. Access to your bilge, you have access below this cushion. If you need better access to get to your bilge pump, when the motor is tilted down, there's going to be inspection plates directly in front of the motor. That'll give you direct access for service to your bilge pump. And also, all boat owners should know where their through hull valves are. Your through hulls are going to be best accessible through that inspection plate. If you ever have a 